Let's draw an angle in uh, standard portion that corresponds to this uh, given angle that is uh, 680 degree. So to draw an angle in standard portion, we have to start off from the positive x direction. That is, uh, this will be our initial arm. And we have to go around this uh, quadrant so that we complete this uh, 680 degree. So when we start off like this and uh, we go here, this is uh, 90 degree. And when we reach this uh, point, this is 180 degree. And here it is 270, so we come back to the same position. That is, uh, so far this is uh, 360 degree. That is, one complete rotation is uh, 360 degree. And uh, let's calculate uh, how much we have to uh, go further. So we can uh, subtract uh, 360 degree from uh, uh, 680 degree. And this gives uh, 320 degree. And this means uh, we start from, after completing one full rotation, we start from here. And we have to go for the 320 degrees. So, so far I have gone 180. This is a 270. And 270 plus 50 degree is 320 degree. So 50 degree we can draw it over like this. So therefore this is the angle that uh, corresponds to the uh, angle 680 degree. This is the angle in standard position. Let's now do question 2. So we have to draw an angle in the standard portion corresponding to negative 20 degree. Since uh, this is negative 20 degree, we should go clockwise direction. So we start off from the positive x direction. That is, uh, this initial ray will be on the x axis. And we have to go clockwise direction. So that is a 20 degree clockwise direction. This should be somewhat uh, closer to the x axis itself. So this is the standard angle for negative 20 degree. Maybe we can mark this also as a negative 20 degree. And uh, in question 2, I just uh, forgot to mark this angle. Just to ensure that uh, we indicate this angle, we can say that this angle could be 50 degree. Because we know that each quadrant is 180 degree. So this is the uh, angle. We now do question 3. That is, uh, we will mark the angle in a standard position for this uh, angle 80 degree. So since this is 80 degree, we can uh, uh, start off from the positive x direction and uh, we just have to go in the counterclockwise direction. So 80 degree is close to 90 degree. So we, we just, uh, it is just a 10 short of 90 degree. So you can see that this is uh, 80 degree or this angle in standard position. Now let's do question four. Uh, let's uh, find an angle for this uh, negative 260 degree. So negative means uh, we have to go clockwise direction. So we start off from the positive x direction and we should go uh, negative 260 degree. So when we start off like this, this is a negative 90 degree and here it is a negative uh, 180 degree. And when we go this far, this is negative 270 degree. So we just have to go 10 short of uh, uh, negative 270 degree so that we get a negative 260 degree. So I'm going to mark this terminal uh, ray like this. So this means this is the indicator ray, or we can say that this is the angle in standard portion for this angle. So maybe we can mark this angle as uh, uh, 10 degree also. Otherwise, we mark this angle as a negative 260 degree.